I love you deaf, man. You left this earth too soon, man. You know, I definitely, definitely gonna miss you, man. I'm gonna try to look, do my best. I know I got some big shoes to fill. I'm good. I'm zooming it up. I'm good. And I said, nah, I'll pay for everything. Miss Kitty said, nah, nah, I got this, I got this. And I said, I can't let you do that. I can't let you. So whenever we go somewhere, Bill's on Miss Kitty. He's always been a guy like that. He always pick up the tab, make you feel, make you feel like family. So. Yeah. I'm the foster child of the rights. I can say that with uh, with all due respect. I don't know, like, he just treated me like one of his own. It was cool beans. He's a real good guy. I would love to have him back if I could. One time, I was at soccer practice, right? Because I used to play soccer when I was like, like five years old. My dad, he thought he was cool. He thought he was gonna come out on the field and try and kick a soccer ball too, to the goal, but he, he kicked it and he just fell right back on his ass. And coffee spit all over his face and shirt and all that. Oh, funniest thing I've ever seen. was or what was going on in the room he was happy and he just created happiness around him he'd love to tell a story and his big smile beautiful sometimes and just cheesy at other but that's what people would migrate to because it was love and joy and I can tell you Kenny didn't miss a day they say to say and say what you want now and don't waste today and that's what he lived every day with that love and joy to the fullest He's a fan of the Bears, the Bears, and yeah. Kenny finally got you in the Redskin time, man. Well, no, that's because Kenny has a Redskin bucket that he put all of his lighters in, <laughs> in the garage. Put the lighters in there and hide it. He's like, because I know you ain't going to reach in that bucket at all, because it's a Redskins bucket. <laughs> right. So, I wore that in his arm, for sure. So, I know he's looking down at me going, ha. <laughs> yeah. One of my favorite memories, we were all down in Nags Head, North Carolina for a family vacation and I convinced Kenny to go on the climbing wall with me. And he's climbing and you know how strong he was. Of course he made it to the top, but as soon as he started to come down and all his weight was on the guy at the bottom of the harness, that guy popped up off the ground and <laughs> it, was just, it was funny. It just. <laughs> He got pulled right up off the ground and thank God he was tethered to a boulder behind him because he'd be up at the top and Kenny would come crashing down, but just <laughs> one of those things I'll never forget. I love you, man. It's eighth grade football. I said maybe ten dollars for everybody I put on their butt and uh, after the game I think he owed me like a hundred dollars. Kenny was always, if he made a bet, he was always willing to, you know, live up to it. Live up to it yeah. You're nine years old, and what does Uncle Kenny still call you? Baby Luke. Baby Luke, since you were born, always greeted me and said goodbye to me by grabbing me and giving me a big fat kiss on the cheek. <laughs> I'm going to miss him a lot. And it was too soon. <laughs> Way too soon. I'm trying my best, man, to look out for the kids and Kathy and everybody, man. But I love you, man. I'm going to miss you. That's it, man.